New York Democratic Assemblyman Ron Kim telling Neil over the weekend New York Governor Andrew Cuomo must be held accountable for his role in a nursing home controversy. This as the New York State Senate weighs removing Cuomo's emergency powers. Fox News' Brian Yannis is in Brooklyn with more on where things stand now. Brian. Charles, good afternoon. And look, New York State Republican lawmakers today are pressuring Democrats to support a Democratic bill that says that they would like to strip the emergency pandemic powers away from New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. Listen. I'm going to be introducing Senator Biagi's bill as a hostile amendment on the floor today for a straight up vote. If they are serious, we can do it today. We don't need to wait. We don't need to create some political commission. Meanwhile, members of New York State's Democratic Committee have signed onto a resolution to formally censure Governor Cuomo for, quote, conduct unbecoming of his office. This as John Dacus, the former acting U.S. Assistant Attorney General for the Department of Justice's Civil Rights Division, is speaking out for the first time about how the Cuomo administration withheld nursing home death toll data from the Trump administration's DOJ. After we learned this information, um, we went to our sister division, the civil division of the Department of Justice, that asked for the same information for the over 600 private nursing homes in the state of New York. And New York stonewalled uh, and didn't produce anything throughout the rest of the year, perhaps waiting for a change in administration. And in an op-ed published in the Wall Street Journal, Dacus explained how this could merit criminal charges. Quote, numerous federal criminal statutes could apply. It's a crime to make false statements to the federal government. It's also a crime to conceal information and otherwise obstruct government investigations. Governor Cuomo today says they have been and continue to comply with requests for information. Listen. We have had... Uh, requests from the Department of Justice since last year when President Trump uh, accused Democratic states of the COVID problem. Of course, Cuomo's top aide in a private meeting with Democrats admitted that they were stonewalling that information. The FBI and the U.S. attorney here in Brooklyn are investigating. Charles. Brian, thank you very much. Now, legal experts now warning Governor Cuomo's alleged undercounting of nursing home deaths could rise to the level of a criminal offense. For the read on that, let's go to former federal prosecutor Katie Tchaikovsky. Uh, you know, we did uh, want to let everyone know we called the governor's office uh, for an interview, and as of right now, we have not heard back. Katie, thanks for joining us. Um, it, it feels like it's really the, 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 it's getting, the noose is getting tighter with respect to this being a simple oversight, when you have Democratic lawmakers taking the sort of actions that uh, we see them taking, uh, it's not just Ron Kim, even Mayor de Blasio uh, spoke of uh, the governor's heavy handedness when it came to things like this. Uh, of course, it's a stretch. How do you get from there to potentially a criminal uh, investigation? Sure, Charles, and I don't really think it's much of a stretch at all. You know, with obstruction offenses, what you see, which is kind of interesting in a way, is it often starts as a way to expressly avoid a federal prosecution, and then it ends up in often a more severe federal prosecution. And I think that's what you might be looking at here. It is a crime to lie to federal agents. It's a crime to conceal information from uh, official investigations. So if, if they can prove, if these prosecutors can prove the intent, which I think you get a long way there with his aid statement, then there is absolutely criminal implications here, in my opinion. And that aide, uh, Melissa DeRosa, on a call with fellow Democrats apologizing, apologizing for the miscount. Uh, and it's, by the way, it's not a, a small miscount. Uh, and it's, it's, it was a charge that had been lobbed by several people who just couldn't see, they couldn't connect the dots of what, what the official information we would gotten throughout this entire pandemic and from what they knew in their own personal lives. So that adds a certain level of, 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 of anger to this that we know very well, Katie. Could that help continue to push this sort of public pressure that seems to be mounting? Uh, do you know the role of the AG here, not only New York State, but uh, would the federal government even ever come into to looking into this? Absolutely. And when you're looking at the criminal side of things, you're always going to be looking for the intent and what they knew, what they planned on, 
Was this a concerted cover up? Was it just negligence? You know, there's always defenses to these sort of things, but people are prosecuted every single day for lying to federal agents, for obstructing federal investigations. So this seems pretty run of the mill yeah. um, in that respect. Yeah, I, I got 30 seconds, but, uh, you know, even in that interview, we heard uh, Governor Cuomo brought up President Trump. Uh, the aide, Melissa DeRosa, brought up President Trump. Uh, <laughs> essentially, they seem to almost be admitting we did something not right, but we did it for political reasons so that we wouldn't be some form of a political pinata. And apparently, if that's the case, then that is, would that be criminal, that we missed all of these deaths? Well, as far as I'm aware, it's not a defense to a federal crime that you believe that you didn't have to cooperate because you didn't like the administration that was heading that agency. So if that's yeah. really the case and they don't think that's a problem, I'm, I'm quite shocked personally. But no, that's not a defense to, to any of those crimes if they can prove the intent there. It's such a heartbreaking situation. Katie, thank you very much. Meanwhile,